The Trump administration has approved Taiwan's request to buy an upgrade to its Patriot Advanced Capability 3 air defense missiles. The deal, which will extend the operational life of the missiles, is valued at 620 million U.S. dollars. Taiwan's defense ministry thanked Washington in a statement on Friday, saying it was a sign of the U.S.'s continued commitment to Taiwan's defense and regional security. PA-3 missiles are a core element of Taiwan's air defense system. They are loaded on a launcher and used to take down incoming targets by direct impact. In its latest arms sale, the Trump administration has agreed to extend the operational life of Taiwan's PAC-3 missiles by selling replacement parts and certification testing. The estimated cost is 620 million U.S. dollars. According to a notice on the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency's website, Congress has been notified of the potential sale. The Ministry of National Defense responded in a statement on Friday. It thanked the U.S. for continuing to sell arms to support Taiwan's self-defense, pursuant to the Taiwan Relations Act and the Six Assurances. A DPP lawmaker said the missile's upgrade would greatly increase Taiwan's defense capabilities. This missile system is very important to Taiwan. Air defense missiles enhance and fortify Taiwan's combat capabilities. They can also deter the CCP from taking Tier 1 military action. So I think that for Taiwan, this recertification package is extremely necessary. In reality, it is not just a recertification. In recent years, the U.S. has changed the mode of its arms sales to Taiwan, switching from a whole package approach to individual deals handled case by case, which are made public from time to time. This is a change in the way weapons transactions are handled between Taiwan and the U.S., and it is beneficial to Taiwan. The missile recertification is part of a new U.S. patent in its weapons sales to Taiwan. And there's another patent. Since 2017, the Trump administration has had more arm dealings with Taiwan each year in a sign of warming ties. Be it arms sales between the U.S. and Taiwan or military cooperation between the two, we're seeing things become normalized and routine. It's evidence that the Taiwan-U.S. relationship is improving in all aspects, especially the military aspect. Uh, the military imbalance in the Taiwan Strait is worsening at an accelerated pace. On its own, Taiwan's military strength is not enough to check China's rise. The U.S. is aware of these developments, and it's making big moves to balance the expansion of China's power in this region. Because of this, military cooperation between Taiwan and the U.S. will inevitably increase. The legislators stress that Taiwan's navy is outmatched and that China has never renounced to the use of force. Given the circumstances, the U.S. is likely to maintain its support for Taiwan with frequent arms sales the new norm.